money for my clients to show up. You guys should come in and be my clients too. So I want to tell you a little bit more about me. I am totally a normal person in spite of being a photographer. I am married, I have two kids, I have a dog, I have a yard with a fence. And I just want you to know that I'm just a completely normal woman that you can come in and do a really fun shoot with. And the results are really amazing. Everyone walks in here completely terrified about their shoot, and everyone walks out like kind of like walking on air. You feel like Superwoman a little bit. It's awesome. Or Wonder Woman even. So I just hope that you guys can all try to have that experience too. Hey girls, welcome to my studio. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit why you should not be nervous at all about your boudoir shoot. All right, so first of all, the studio is completely private. It's very discreet and no one's even gonna know you're here. And when you are here, you're here with an all-female team. It's going to be just you and me, any friends if you want to bring them, and the hair and makeup artist if you do choose to add the hair and makeup option. Some other reasons are, I'm going to pose you. You literally just have to walk in here like the badass self that you are, and I will take the rest of it from there, I promise. So there's lots of poses while I do um, with someone in this position. One thing I like to do is always have my clients wearing shoes because they're kind of like decoration in the back of the shot. And then I just have them sit up really straight like this and I have them move their hands around. So you know there could be smiles, there could be sultry, there could be hair movement, there could be ooh. So another reason not to be nervous besides the fact that I'm going to pose you and literally tell you what to do the entire time is that we're all girls here. All right, so you can't beat a good silhouette pose and here are some of my favorites. One, turn to the side, go up on one toe. Mostly what I'm looking for is a triangle of light right here. You put your arms together like this, you put them on top of your head, and then you look up. Beautiful. I have you stagger your feet. Usually you're wearing heels, not hands. And we do the same thing with our arms while arching our back and popping our booty. I like to call this one butt flap girl because that's what she is. Pretty simple. And for a variation on this, if you're feeling brave, we lift up one leg. But make sure to stretch for it. <laughs> So here are some ideas of what you can bring to wear to your session. For example, a robe. Can't go wrong with a fun, flirty little robe like this. And especially at the beginning of the session, you might be feeling a little hesitant to just be standing in my studio wearing lingerie. So a nice little robe helps you feel a little bit more secure. Idea number two, you can't go wrong with the cute little slip. Any color will look great on camera. It's just whatever you feel represents you the best. I love this one because it's got this little flirty bottom with this little cutout right here and very beautiful from the back as well. So this lovely robe type top thing that I'm wearing also is part of the set. Comes with this cute little candy that you can put on top and then these adorable kind of like high-waisted boy short type thingies, cute lace on the bottom, very flattering and um, very comfortable to uh, wear and pose in. So another idea is to get kind of like a baby doll style like this white thing. Disclaimer, I don't know the names of any lingerie, so I literally will refer to it as the white thing, the white lacy thing, the red thing, and we'll figure it out together. Um, this one's super cute though, because it also comes with a little matching thong, which you can wear, or you can also pair it with a pair of boy shorts, like we talked about earlier. So you also can't go wrong with the corset. If you dare to wear one, we will 100% assemble it for you. Um, this one actually has little eyelet hooks in the front, and these nice ties in the back, so once we have it on, we'll cinch it up tight, the only thing to keep in mind is that if you are wearing um, a corset, there aren't poses. There are some poses that you're not really going to be able to do because it does restrict your movement, but it looks so hot, so it's worth it. So for every shoot, I suggest that you bring at least one supportive bra or top that makes the ladies look really good. The reason for this is because some of the poses I'm going to be doing with you, or you're going to be laying on your back, and everyone needs a little extra support when they're laying on their back. So. Something like this, push-up bra, wonder bra, whatever works for you, just make sure you have at least one that comes to the studio with you. Last, if you have shoes with heels, any sort of heel, please feel free to bring them. I'm not gonna make you stand in them, I'm not gonna make you walk in them unless you really want to, but I do use them in some shots. Sometimes they're there to make you taller, sometimes they're just there for decoration. I love these red ones, super cute, stiletto at the bottom given to me by a client. Client, you know who you are, so thank you. I like your shoes, I'm so happy that I get to keep them. Um, I think these are a size seven if anyone does wanna wear them when they're here, but if not, please bring your own. So our studio is fully equipped with lots of fun props and robes, and even these angel wings that you can pose in if you'd like. Plus they're just kind of fun to wear. However, do not try to walk through a doorway with them on, which is something that I did that first got them, and um, you just can't fit. <laughs> so much about all of my clients and all of my future clients that I'm making this video to tell
tell you more about my shoes.